So you have a crush on your doctor, huh? Not my doctor, my, 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 um... Your nurse? My doctors. They're not really my doctors, but they're my... Therapists? Therapists. They're okay. very cute. Very cute. What's cute about them? Um, they're young, and they're firm, and they're men, and <laughs> they're, um, cute, and they're... Shapely and they're men, <laughs> and they're um, shapely and they're. Are you looking forward to dating again when you get out of here? Uh, I don't know, Andy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be. A, I'd like to date men my own age. That's probably a good idea. Were you dating younger guys? No, I was. I was dating men my own age in their forties. Um, what are what are guys like dating? What is it like? You know, I've been married so long. What's it like dating? You know, it's, it's very a, awkward. It is, but it's okay. I date men in their thirties sometimes. Mm -hmm. How's the, what's the oldest guy you ever dated? In his forties. His forties. Is it hard to find? I, you always hear that guys are always after younger women. Is it hard to find guys your age who want to date? Women? Yeah. I was like guys. I was like younger guys. So where do you meet guys? Where's where's where do you advise that, you know people, women your age? I meet, meet guys at comedy clubs at for comedy somebody club. for some odd reason. You do. Yeah. When do you go to comedy clubs? I go to comedy clubs with you, silly. <laughs> and I don't remember ever meeting a guy there. Uh, I've met guys there, and I've met guys there when I'm not with you, mm -hmm. and I've met guys there when I'm with your boys, uh, much older than your boys. Yeah, you wouldn't want to take guys I my son's age. No, God, no, that'd be gross. I feel what like... Yeah, what if he's really cute? Oh, I feel like... A, Pig, I feel mm -hmm. gross. Just use them. And oh them. God, That's I feel like do. your son's so age. You meet guys at comedy clubs. Where else do you meet guys? You ever date on the uh -huh. internet? You, what do you think? Oh, about that? I dated on the internet for a while. What did you use? Um, the internet. Which which dating site did you use? Like eHarmony or Match dot com? Match dot com. Did it work out for you? Mm hmm. Did you meet some nice people? Yeah. How many dates did you get on the internet? Uh, three or four or five. Wow. How many times did you? The nicest guy you met. How many dates did you have with him? Um. I I had like six dates off the internet. Mm -hmm. Did you? So you, you think you'll do that again when you get better? Maybe. You think they should have a special dating site for people with brain trauma? No. Why not? Well. I wouldn't want to announce myself as someone with brain trauma. I'd rather introduce myself as some sexy sexy irresistant woman blah blah blah. <laughs> you don't think uh, you can be sexy with brain trauma? I wouldn't want to introduce myself that way. Yeah. I don't want to pick up losers. <laughs> so the other people on the site would be losers. So people with brain trauma are people losers? Look, yeah, people looking for women with brain trauma are losers. <laughs> well, no, I meant it would be for, like, the guys would have brain trauma, too. They wouldn't. So you were thinking it's for guys who want to pick up women with brain trauma and take advantage of them. Is that how? Yeah. I see, I see. No, I'm thinking, like, gross. we're... gross. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe there's a guy there. Maybe there's guys out there who have a fetish for brain, women with brain trauma, like some guys like big boobs. Can you? Oh, some, gross! Gross. That's I, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> You're disgusting, Andy. You have a fetish for women with brain traumas? No boobs. <laughs> oh, like boobs. so you'd have a you'd have a fetish for a woman with a brain trauma as long as she had a big tits? No, no. no. <laughs> 
Oh, well, maybe. But that's <laughs> no, 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 no. You never finished the one with the brain problem. It's not like if she had big tits. <laughs> well, that would definitely be a plus. But but then the <laughs> what kind of pig are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant there's like different guys out there. Some guys like butts, some there's like leg men, there's boob men. There, you know, and I, I, didn't, oh, I, yeah, I didn't mean I, I know. I know what kind of women are. Now, out I know there now, that I, now that you have brain trauma, I know that. Uh, now, I'm not attracted to you like that, but I know now that brain trauma women can be really sexy because you are a sexy person. You, you always have been. So. But I, that's not my fetish. My fetish is, you know, it's, it's just I like boobs. boobs. But but they're probably I wouldn't be surprised if there are guys out there who do like like um, there's a every there's a fetish for everything. I don't know, you always discover that. But what I meant was, what if there was a dating site for guys with brain trauma to meet girls with brain trauma? Do you think that site would work? I wouldn't look for a guy with a brain trauma because I'm hoping I'm not in this situation forever. Well, he might not be either. Maybe he's going to cure. Oh, so you're worried that you might get better and he won't. Mm-hmm. Right. You're probably right. That kind of dating site probably would be a failure. God, I hope I get better, Randy. Oh, no, you are. You're getting better every day. I mean, I, I wouldn't, hope you, I get better. Anita, you know I only joke about things when I know they're not, you know, when I, they're not something to worry about. You know, I wouldn't make fun of I them. would hate, I hate the thought of not getting better. Oh, listen, I can show you on the tapes. You were getting better every day. You want to see something? You were doing so much better every day. And you, I believe you. Okay, and remember, that's what the toad's for. I'm so sorry I made you cry. No, you didn't make me cry. I look like you were. Okay. No, no, you're no, getting, no. You're getting I, better. I itched my eye. Oh, okay. I didn't cry. Okay. But you were definitely getting... And you know I wouldn't joke about something like that if you I really weren't going to get better. I know. I know. Because you know how I joke about things, and I don't joke about things that, you know, really well, would hurt. Right. No, I know you wouldn't joke about it if... But that you are so funny. You are so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what was I'm your... gonna call Dad. Dad, Joe Gandy joked about my brain disorder. I can call him for you. you want to call him? No. You sure? Yeah. He'd get a kick out of me. Would... No, because he would believe me. He would? And you think he'd be mad at me? Uh, yeah. yeah. So what? I don't have to worry about that. He's in Florida. You think he's gonna hit me from there, down there? No. So no. what do I have to worry about? I don't want to hit you, period. No, no. I said, you think he's gonna hit me from down there? I'm not asking you for a date. No, and I don't want him to hit you, period. No, me neither. I don't think he would. He's got bad arthritis. He wouldn't even be funny. Right. Is he strong enough to hit you? I don't think so. Think it's so. not something I think about. I don't think about it either. It's but been a long for time. me, I think he would. Oh, you think he'd hit you? No, for me, I think he'd hit you. Oh, you, oh you mean to protect you, he'd hit me. Yeah, well, if you, I if think you, for me, he would hit you. Oh, I think I think if he really thought I was doing you harm, he would. I definitely think he would. I think if he thought you were hurting me, no, I think he'd not. get somebody else to hit you. <laughs> I think he'd do it himself. If he <laughs> I think he would get somebody else to hit you. Yeah, but he would be um, right, wouldn't he? Yeah. Well, maybe not the hitting part, but he would, it's a good idea to stop it if you're getting hurt. Yeah, yeah. but he would and I wouldn't hurt you. And I know you wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> Not on purpose, anyway. You were still making me laugh from what you said about the dating stuff. The dating stuff? What, what? So tell me, how did you describe yourself on your Match.com profile? Oh, I didn't. You just left it blank? I didn't ever set one up. But how did they find you? Did you just look for men? I, I, no, I didn't, um, no, actually, I temporarily set one up. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't have a profile, then how do the guys find you, or how do you find the guys? I thought you had to have a profile for Match.com to work. I did have a 
profile. Remember, I temporarily had. You never showed it to me. I, I temporarily you, had a dating website and I had a profile. Mm -hmm. And I temporarily had a dating website and I temporarily had. Why did you just do it temporarily? Why didn't you keep it? And I, I got scared. You got what? What scared you? Did you have a bad experience? I didn't like having a website where guys could uh, send me emails and send me. Did you get a lot of creeps? Um, no, but I had a lot of men. I had a guy send me an email. And his kid was the cutest thing. His kid sent me an email mm -hmm. and wanted to know if he could. Um, I'm his, listening. His, 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 he, his, his kid called one time when we were out at dinner together. And you I, me? and yeah. Um, or you were no, the, or you with this I, guy? No, I was with this guy and his kid called. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like the way he treated his kid. He says, this better be some emergency. And I guess he probably didn't get a date with too many women. But I didn't like the way he talked to his son. Good for you. And I just... Did you tell him? Yeah. And, um... I didn't, I just didn't like him after that. Well, I can totally understand that. I just thought he was a creep from the way he talked to his son. And I uh, probably didn't understand that he didn't get a date with too many women. Is that what he told you? Or you just yeah, didn't and I understood all that, but I didn't like the way he talked to his son. Gee, I can totally understand that. It was just a turn off. Yeah. Completely. So that was the last date for that. How many yeah. times have you dated that? How many times did you date that guy? I never dated him. Except that one time. I never dated him after that. Right after that, and or before that? Nope. Nope. And I never. Uh, Where did he live? I don't remember. Did he live in the Baltimore. He didn't area? live too far from me. Mm-hmm. And a lot of guys I went out to dinner with and stuff, I think I did never want to go out to dinner with him again. No, I don't blame you. It sounds like you made the right decision. That's an interesting story. I didn't like that. I don't blame you. So that was something that sort of turned you off about internet dating? It's a thing that turned me off a lot about dating, period. Mm -hmm. You mean, what turned you off about dating, period? It was that. And you mean I the way just, guys treat their kids? Yeah, and I just wanted to date without having to go through all that because I didn't like the way that kid tr that guy treated his kid. But if he treated him good, then you won't you don't mind dating guys who have kids, right? Yeah, but that was horrible. I didn't like seeing that. Yeah, I could understand that. And I hated that. Did you have some good dates? Not with guys who had kids, not too often. Really? But you don't mind dating guys who have kids? Um... In principle? Not in principle. But you'd rather have a guy who doesn't have kids? I think so. Would you like, did you ever want to have kids? I'm too old now to, to find a guy who doesn't have kids, or isn't affected by kids in some way. Well, soon. Soon you'll be dealing with guys whose kids are grown up anyway. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Except they move back home, don't Except they? Except they move back home, and they have parents together. And the moochers. And they, and if they don't, then God, that's horrific. And what a pain in the ass. I just don't want to deal with it, Andy. <clears throat> are, you, are, you, are you ever sorry you never got married? No, but people and parents and their kids are a pain in the ass. You've been such a great aunt to my kids. I know. I'd, I'd rather be an aunt to somebody else's kids. Yeah, you don't have to change any diapers. I know. You got all the good stuff and none of the crap. I, I know. So you had it really good. <laughs>